All right, we're on to weld number two now for flux cord arc welding, and that is the butt joint. Um, the butt joint is, again, we're going to cut two pieces that are approximately two inches by six inches of 5 16 material. All right, um, if you measure your material correctly, when you bring it up to me, I'll give you an extra credit point for uh, these welds. Uh, when we weld this, we're going to put a slight gap between these two plates. I wouldn't put anything more than about an eighth inch of a gap between them. Tack each end and then we'll weld one side. Slightly space these out. Now after I attack one side, I'll make sure that my plates are still flush and still are somewhat even all the way down. And I'll tack the other side. All right, so now we're just going to do a nice straight drag all the way down. One of the hard things about dragging is you can't quite see the line that you're trying to stay on. Sometimes it's helpful to make a soapstone mark that you can follow with your nozzle that's off to the side of the joint. And that'll help you stay in a nice straight line as you go down. Okay, this is, if you need to restart in the middle, that's fine. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to weld the entire side all the way down and we really are going to try and stay centered and focused on the middle. We have a little bit of a gap there, so you put this on the quarter inch material settings instead of the 5 16 material settings. We're going to try and drive that puddle down there, then we're going to flip it over. We're going to look at the back side. I need to see the back side before you weld it. We may want to actually grind open the back side, but then we're going to weld both sides of this plate and that will ensure that we get a full penetration weld welding from both sides. That would be most typical what you would see on a square butt joint like this in the field. So we're going to go ahead and keep welding. We're going to weld down this side nice and straight, nice and steady. All right, there we go. We're gonna, we've knocked off the slag. We've got a little bit of splatter here at the end. We can chip that off with a little bit of effort. Okay, now we're going to flip it over. We're going to take a look at the back side. Ideally, we would want to see the weld kind of peeking through where we can see it. Um, the better that you can actually have these two welds touch and weld together in the middle will make sure that you have a full weld all the way through the thickness of the material. If you don't and you're doing something like this out in the field, you can't guarantee structural soundness. But what we're going to do now is if I needed you to, I would have you grind this out with the edge of your grinding disc, maybe open up the gap a little bit if it was too tight. And then we would go until we hit the back of the weld. And then we'd take our well, our gun, and we would weld it back up. Keeping the same settings we had it on before, we're gonna go ahead and weld the back side. So there is the front side of your weld. There's the back side. Now what could be kind of fun to do is to go to the bandsaw and cut this down the middle. 
and uh, we would actually take a look and see what kind of penetration you had. You don't need to do that. Um, maybe we could do that for uh, extra, extra credit points, right? Uh, if we can get a nice solid weld in there that welds together through the middle, that's what we want. You want to be careful while doing this. Because we are putting a gap, we are trying to put the weld through the joint, there is a slight possibility that maybe you have too big of a gap and you'll start welding to the table. Just want to make sure that if you are going to put maybe a bigger gap, you can always take a piece of scrap metal and block up your plate so it doesn't touch the metal. That's always helpful. The material is thick enough that we shouldn't need to worry about that. All right, again, two two inch by six inch pieces that are five sixteenths thick. That's what you want to do for your butt joint. Go ahead and get started on it. Good luck.